Dear addicts, this video gets a little technical, even though I have tried to make it a bit simpler. I hope you will watch it until the end, as it is very informative. The paper titled, A New Concept for the Development of High-Performance X-Ray Lithography, which was prepared by the Institute for Physics of Microstructures of the Russian Academy of Sciences, also known as IPMRAS, is the foundation of the Russian X-Ray Lithography Initiative. This research investigates the global improvements in extreme ultraviolet and X-ray lithography and presents a compelling argument for the transition to a wavelength of 11.2 nanometers. The authors contend that this action could provide numerous significant benefits in comparison to the conventional 13.5 nanometer systems in use today. One of the primary advantages is the capacity to accomplish a higher resolution which facilitates more precise patterning at the nanoscale. The shorter wavelength also facilitates a simplified optical design, potentially leading to the development of more affordable and smaller projection optics. Furthermore, the operational life of multilayer mirrors and pellicles could be extended by substantially reducing optical contamination through the use of xenon-based laser plasma in place of the traditional tin plasma source. The choice of source material suggests enhanced reliability and decreased maintenance needs. Another driver of the proposal is operational and economic efficacy. The system is intentionally designed to avoid high throughput, focusing instead on sufficient performance to meet domestic production needs and reduce operational costs. Moreover, it may provide improved efficacy at the 11.2 nanometer wavelength by enhancing compatibility with silicon organic resists. The authors specifically state that the throughput of the proposed lithograph will not be comparable to that of ASML systems. The output is anticipated to be approximately 2.7 times lower than that of ASML's NXE3600D with an estimated laser power of 3.6 kilowatt. However, this capacity is still viable for localized semiconductor manufacturing, particularly when strategic control and autonomy outweigh sheer speed. The roadmap follows a simple three-stage sequence for guiding development, starting with a comprehensive concept study, progressing to prototype development, and concluding with the development of an industrial-scale system. This phased approach highlights the project's ambition and acknowledges the detailed technological challenges ahead. To develop a lithograph system that operates at 11.2 nanometers, it is necessary to overcome several kinds of complex engineering challenges, each of which has important implications for the project's success. One of the main areas of emphasis is the radiation source, where the initiative suggests substituting conventional tin plasma with a xenon laser plasma source, which will be employed in conjunction with hybrid solid-state lasers. The purpose of this decision is to enhance the reliability and cost-effectiveness of the system over numerous production cycles by reducing contamination and, more importantly, extending the operational lifetime of the collector. Multilayer mirrors are another critical innovation in technology. Researchers are currently in the process of creating mirror coatings that use a combination of beryllium and ruthenium to achieve high reflectivity at the 11.2 nanometer wavelength. Success in this field guarantees optical components that are not only more durable, but also perform at a higher level. The projection optics and scanning system designs are equally ambitious, comprising six mirror projection objectives, precision wafer scanning stages that are compatible with both 200 mm and 300 mm wafers, and highly advanced vacuum and mechanical assemblies that are essential for the preservation of ultra-clean operational environments. Existing solutions are not optimized for this wavelength, which is why the need for new mask materials and resists is also driven by the shift to 11.2 nanometers, the objective of research into dynamic transmission masks is to develop greater accuracy in pattern control, a critical component of expanding the boundaries of nanoscale lithography. Additionally, the fundamental requirements for optical correction and data preparation 
are modified by the transition to a new wavelength, necessitating a complete re-engineering of the existing correction and modeling tools, which are currently primarily concentrated on the 13.5 nanometer standard. Although such approaches are still in the theoretical stage and not yet prepared for direct application, some academic studies have even investigated the possibility of synchrotron-based extreme ultraviolet sources. Each of these components holds significant importance, serving as a critical technological frontier that can either accelerate or impede progress indefinitely. The transformative scope of this project is underscored by the breakthrough-level research and sustained engineering effort that are mandated by the cumulative development required across these domains. The preliminary design phase of the project, which functions as a detailed feasibility assessment, has either been completed or is currently in the process of being finalized, according to recent reports. The project was officially started on March 3, 2025, and it allocated a seven-month period to this critical concept stage. The work ended in a formal final defense on September 30, 2025, an impressive group of research institutes and industry partners was assembled for the purpose. The Institute for Physics of Microstructures of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the Institute of Applied Physics, and the Systems Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences were among the main contributors. The involvement of Bauman Moscow State Technical University, as well as companies like High Speed Communication Systems and Polikiton, further improved the technical expertise. The breadth of participation emphasizes the collective dedication necessary to address the scientific and engineering objectives of this advanced lithography initiative. The completion of this stage is an important achievement as it establishes the foundation for the development of an experimental prototype and validates the project's technical feasibility. The project's strategic roadmap was revised to reflect a more focused set of objectives following the conclusion of the concept phase. The initiative's current objective is to provide a compact, cost-efficient lithography system with moderate output that is capable of meeting the needs of domestic production environments, rather than endeavoring to replicate the high-throughput extreme ultraviolet machinery that ASML has pioneered. This method prioritizes sustainability and practicality over the pursuit of parity with global leaders in terms of raw capacity. The revised timeline is divided into three phases. During phase one, which is scheduled to take place from 2026 to 2028, the objective is to create a lithograph that is capable of producing semiconductors using 40 nanometer technology with a throughput of over five wafers per hour. The focus will shift to the development of a scanner that is capable of manufacturing at the 14 nanometer node in phase two, which will extend from 2029 to 2032. The throughput will increase to several dozen wafers per hour. The last phase three, expected to happen from 2033 to 2036 or 2037, plans to create a system that can work with less than 10 nanometers, aiming for a speed of about 100 wafers per hour. Although the roadmap is ambitious, the pace, which will only reach 14 nanometers by 2037, may appear to be slow in comparison to international standards, where progress in technology evolves faster. However, the plan remains an important domestic effort and has the potential to greatly improve the nation's semiconductor capabilities. However, the program's ultimate success is based upon steady progress in overcoming critical technical challenges, strong institutional collaboration, and reliable funding. The effort has made encouraging strides as a result of recent research initiatives that have yielded tangible experimental results. The feasibility of xenon as a radiation source for this application has been validated by the conversion efficiency of xenon laser plasma sources from laser energy to extreme ultraviolet output, which is approximately 4%. In addition, 
hybrid solid-state lasers that operate within the kilowatt range have been effectively demonstrated, thereby supplying the requisite power levels for advanced lithography processes. Multilayer ruthenium and beryllium mirrors have been developed in the field of optics, with reported reflectivity levels exceeding 72% at the critical 11.2 nanometer wavelength. This represents a significant advancement in mirror technology. The Budker Institute in Novosibirsk has maintained an active involvement in the project, with a particular emphasis on improving the efficiency of free electron lasers for extreme ultraviolet generation. Additionally, Russian academic journals have published many optical design studies that investigate the capabilities of dynamic mask systems and multi-mirror objectives, which serve as the foundation for flexible and high-resolution patterning. Collectively, these findings indicate that the project has progressed beyond theoretical propositions and is now making steady progress toward concrete experimental validation, thereby establishing a robust foundation for subsequent development phases. The project is still facing a number of difficult technical and logistical challenges that could have a major effect on its development, although it has made significant progress. One of the most significant obstacles is the necessity of constructing the entire technology stack from the ground up. Components, tools, and methods from current 13.5 nanometer systems are not transferable. This situation necessitates the development of new optics, resists, masks, and supporting software for the 11.2 nanometer wavelength, each of which introduces its own set of risks and complexities. The Russian initiative dedicates itself to the development of 11.2 nanometer lithography technology, a bold and high-stakes project that combines scientific ambition with significant risk. The success of the effort will be dependent upon the ongoing financial commitment and seamless cooperation among research institutions, industrial collaborators, and the government over the course of many years. The sheer size of this task underscores its complexity and strategic significance to Russia. If the project meets its objectives, its potential impact could be transformative. A critical advantage for national security and technological sovereignty, Russia would secure independent access to sophisticated lithographic equipment, thereby reducing its dependence on foreign imports the country would be able to sustain mid-level semiconductor manufacturing capabilities, which would be crucial for specialized applications in fields such as defense, communications, and scientific research, by establishing a domestic extreme ultraviolet-like platform. Although the new system may operate at a slower pace than its ASML counterparts, its lower cost and ease of maintenance may render it appealing to specific market segments that are well suited to the requirements of Russia. Additionally, the effort has the potential to serve as a catalyst for innovation in a diverse array of allied fields, such as computational lithography, optics, and materials science, which would fortify Russia's scientific and engineering foundation. Nevertheless, it is imperative to recognize that substantial risks continue to exist. If technical obstacles are not resolved or if development is delayed, the 11.2 nanometer system may arrive too late to offer significant commercial or strategic value in a rapidly changing market. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take our membership to encourage us.